Hi, in this video, I'll be showing you how to create surveys in Mentimeter. It's very easy and you'll have your questions up and running in no time. Let's check it out together. So the first thing to do is go to Mentimeter.com. Here on the top right hand corner, you'll be able to either log in or sign up. I already have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and click log in. By the way, if you don't have an account, it's super easy to get signed up. Just click the link below in the description. I'm going to log in here with my Gmail. And once I log in, I get to all my saved presentations. Now, in order to create a survey, I'm going to click here on new presentation. And I know what you're thinking, presentation or survey, but we'll get to the survey part in a second. Let's say I'm a teacher and I want to gather feedback from a course. So I'll call this presentation or survey the course feedback survey. And I go ahead and click create presentation. And this takes me to the edit view where you'll be able to add questions to your survey. I'm going to start here by using the multiple choice question. Here I can ask a question to my students. So I might ask, uh, how did you participate in this course? And I can add the options remotely or on site. I'm going to go up here and add another question. And this time I'm using the scales. And this is a really great way to gather feedback. You could put in various statements and have your respondents rate these statements. I'm going to put in here, rate the following. And here I've put in my statements. So if they've learned new things during the course, if the course curriculum was clear and so forth, I can go down and I can actually change the labels here. I have strongly disagree to strong, strongly agree. I might keep that, but I'll put the value up to 10 here just to make sure that we get um, detailed feedback. Finally, I'm going to add one more slide. And this time I'm using the open ended question type. Here, my respondents will be able to submit uh, longer, more detailed answers. So I'll put in my question. Now I have my three survey questions and it's time to turn on the survey mode. What you want to do is go up here to settings right under the present button. And I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click on audience pace. And this is the key to creating a successful survey in Mentimeter. If you were to host this presentation live in front of an audience, you're going to use presenter pace. But if you're doing a survey, you're going to simply click here on audience pace. Now I can ask my students to go to menti.com and put in the code that's on the top here. Or I can simply click on the share button and click on this voting link here and select copy link. So let's uh, take a look at how it looks for my students when they submit answers. So I'm going to open a new link and I'm going to check out this copied link, which is the link to the survey. And here I have my questions and I press submit and then I can rate the uh, course here. And then I can add uh, longer text if I would like. And if we go back now to the survey, we can actually see that the answers have come in in real time. So here we have that one and then the statements and the improvements. All right, folks, that is it for our survey video. Once again, highly recommend you to check it out yourself. I put a bunch of links in the description below, so feel free to click on those. And good luck with your surveys.